Yeah, very yes, good sir. afternoon from uh, Ortho TV side. This is Dr. Shamsul Rudra from India from Ortho TV, not so worlds. Now we are uh, thanks to uh, Bangladesh Kurban Fellow Group. Now we hand over to Dr. Dr. Arif to start the session. Yes, sir, uh, uh, please, uh, can you deliver the host status to me, sir? Sure, sure, sure. Well done. You can start now. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, with the permission of Professor Bari, sir, uh, I will start the session. And uh, I, need, I need your permission. Not you don't need to take my permission. I need your permission. Uh, okay, Shamsul Das permission. Uh, use permission. Then I will continue. Um, okay, sir. Um, uh, the participant from home and abroad, and all uh, the um, foreign participant, especially from the Nigeria. And our uh, very good friend, Professor Samsul Huda sir from India. And uh, we already uh, just uh, had the information that Professor Shefsov is trying to uh, connecting with us. Uh, I, I welcome Professor Shefsov. Uh, still, I am not getting any ID from Professor Shefsov. So we, I hope that I will get a very, very soon with, connected with Professor Shefsov. Uh, today, you know that uh, the Kurgan, Bangladesh Kurgan Fellow Group organized that this webinar. And it is that 11th session, 11 uh, number lecture today. And uh, everyone, uh, you know that, uh, already know, uh, know that the today's lecture topic is basic idea of deformity. The basic idea of, of deformity will be delivered by our mentor, Professor uh, Mufakarul Bari. Um, as it is a formal uh, uh, webinar, so I want to uh, go a few details of Professor Bari. Uh, our Professor Bari, sir, uh, had his, uh, had his um, uh, MA, MA, MD and MS uh, from uh, Kiev and PhD from the Tashkent and he is a postdoctoral fellowship from RISC RTO uh, Russia and he is also limb lengthening and reconstruction fellowship from uh, Chennai India and he is visiting professor uh, of RISC RTO Kurgan Russia the Elizabeth Center and also honored professor in Uifeng University China he is the chief uh, consultant in uh, Bari uh, Elizabeth Center, uh, he is a very renowned uh, and very famous uh, Elizabeth Center in Bangladesh. And um, you will be happy to know that uh, the, all the Elizabeth surgeons that are working in Bangladesh is somehow related to Bari sir. Uh, most of them are the direct student. So we all the Kurgan fellow are the direct student of Professor Bari sir. And every time we enrich our knowledge uh, who is talking with our professor and he is very much generous to deliver all of his knowledge to his successor. So uh, I request uh, Professor uh, Bari sir, uh, please uh, uh, share your screen and start uh, today's session. Sir, uh, we, uh, everyone who have the question for uh, to the session and uh, you will send me the message uh, in the chat box and they are already, uh, I got a picture from a foreign uh, participant uh, to be discussed in this session after the lecture of Bari sir. Bari sir, uh, if you can hear me, please uh, uh, start your lecture, sir. Okay. Uh, Share your screen, sir. This okay. Can you, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, okay. Sir, Arif, and also Arif, thank you very much for your nice words. My dear friends, participants from home and abroad, especially from India, from Nigeria, from Nepal, from Russia. I am very much grateful to you all. And today I'll talk on deformity. Before going to deformity, I have divided my lecture into three parts. First of all, I'll talk a little bit regarding the Professor Elizarov academician. Next, a little bit over his technique, and then I'll talk on the principles and normals, what is in our body, and how to correct the deformities that we face in our day-to-day -day life. Professor Gabriel Abramovich Ilizarov uh, graduated from the then Soviet Union in 1943 uh, at the end of the after the Second World War. And after his graduation, he was assigned to work in Kurgan 
a small town in Western Siberia. You know that. And he was the only physician within hundreds of miles and had little in the very ways of supplies and medicine. Faced with numerous cases of bone deformities and trauma victims due to the Second World War, Professor Gabriel Abramovich Lizarov used the equipment at the hand to treat his patients. And through trial and error, with handmade equipment, this self-taught orthopedic surgeon created the magical combination that would cause the bone to grow. Thus, the Elizarov technique was created. This is about the Professor Elizarov. And the main thing is the Elizarov technique. Uh, the day before he studied, we talked about the Elizarov technique and destruction of osteogenesis. This refers to the formation of new bone between the two bone surfaces that are pulled apart in a controlled and gradual manner, which gives you the new vessels. That is, we call it new vascularization. And which is actually simulates the new bone formation. In addition, there is a histogenesis of the muscles, histogenesis of the nerves and the skin, and in diseases like osteomyelitis, deformities, fibrous dysplasias, and pseudoarthrosis, this new bone replaces pathological bone with a normal bone. This is a revolutionary concept in medical sciences, diseases for which earlier there was no treatment possible can now successfully be treated with this Elizarov method. So this is about the technique. Now, uh, Elizarov Center, it was my dream when to visit the Elizarov Center since my residency. Elizarov Center is the origin of deformity correction. My dear young generation fellows, you should know that the origin of deformity correction, limb lengthening and pediatric orthopedics and treating the osteomyelitis. I have given my best efforts to learn and acquire Elizarov technique and Elizarov Center has gained me and given me and guided me towards achieving my goals. And probably I think I have achieved a little bit with following the Elizarov Center. Now, I will go to the, you can see in the picture first, Professor Gabriel Abramovich in the Elizarov OT. See, this is my training places. This is the center I want to show. I love to show this center, the orthopedic capital, orthopedic center largest in the world, and Muslims, they call Mecca. They go to the Mecca, but orthopedic surgeons, they should go to the orthopedic center, the Elizarov. Here, you know, the statue of the Elizarov, you can see that the law of tension and stress is written there. Slow and steady traction on a living tissue that creates a, what is new bone formation, and which is metabolically activated, and which gives histoneogenesis, tissue genesis, angiogenesis, neurogenesis, all genesis. This is written here, the law of tension and stress in the statue of Elizarov. This is my center where I work here more than uh, 10 years. This is our detour. And I myself, there you can see here all the faculties. And you can see Golam Farooq is also here, but all are now retired person. They are working in their individual uh, places. So this is my center, motivated Elizaro Purely Center. And this is, I love to uh, see my mentor, my professor, uh, Vladimir Ivanov Shepsov, academician. And now you can see the varieties of uh, deformities. You can see how they are working. Jumping, crawling, twisting, and these are the varieties of deformities. Look at these. And a little bit, only I have shown here, a little bit. Next, I proceed. Now, let us see what is normal, what is abnormal. Some basic terminologies. Lord, most of the orthopedic surgeons, they know it. I repeat it for your kind consideration. You'll see four things here. Joint center, joint line, 
limb axis and joint orientation. See, hip joint point is the center of the femoral head. This is, these are the four things, the center of the femoral notch, you can see here, you can see here, center of the tibial spine here, center of the femoral condyles, and center of the soft tissue. This is the soft tissue here, both sides, and center of the tibia. These are the five things. Basic things you should have to know. Joint center, you can see here in the ankle, center of the soft tissue, again, center of the bones, and center of the talus. So if see any shift here, if you know these normal things, then you can easily identify what is the problem. Now joint lines, proximal femoral joint line, line from the tip of the greater target to the center of the femoral head. Now you can see distal femoral joint line, line tangential to the most distal points of convexity of the femoral condyles. And then see, two plateaus, medial lateral plateaus, depression post. If you draw a line, then you'll see the line across the concave aspect of the tibial plateaus. And distal tibia, also equal up to dome-shaped patella. Here, if you draw a line, this is called the tibial plafon dome of the talus. And limb axis, mechanical axis, anatomical axis for the newcomers, you must know all these two axes. Mechanical is a straight line that connects the joint center, the proximal and distal joints. Anatomical is a bit diffusion line of the bone segment. So these are the basic things. An axis of the femur, here you can see the mechanical axis, here is the anatomical axis. You can see here, mechanical axis and anatomical axis. Two the three points from here, cortex to cortex, cortex to cortex, and then you draw a line center. This is your anatomical axis. Mechanical axis, call it weight bearing axis, center of the hip, and then you go to the center of the knee. And next you can see here, tibiofemoral angle. If you do any surgery, not only Lizarov, you should know all these angles. See, anatomical, mechanical axis, this is six degree, or sometimes you can say it's seven degree and axis of the tibia. Mechanical axis and mechanical axis and anatomical axis of the tibia, almost the same. And now joint orientation angles. My dear friends, engineer colleagues, you should have to keep it in your mind. This is the main thing that the four angles, LPFA, if you see the LPFA here, and here is the two angles opposite, 87, 87, LDTA 90, LPFA 90. What are the joints? If you see regularly, that they'll, you will memorize it in your mind. One time, two times, you will not be able to memorize. So, and joint orientation angle. What is that? LPFA 90 degree. If you take the heat joint orientation angle, angle between the heat joint line and the mechanical axis of the femur. This is on an average is 90. So here you can see joint orientation angle, knee joint orientation, LDFA, MPTA. These are the very important things, LDFA and MPTA and JLCA, joint line convergent angle, zero to two degree. To keep it in your mind, you must know the four angles. I told you before, these are the angles, four angles, 90, 87, 87, and 90, LDTA 90, distal, lateral distal tibial angle, 90 degree. So it is very easy to memorize, 90, 87, 87, 90. These are the things you can easily uh, remember here. See, this is the 90, this is the 90 uh, LPFA, and this is 87, opposite 87. If any problem near the joint, then you will realize this 87, this is 87, and LDTA, this is 90 degree. So you can see here four angles. Keep it in your mind, 90, 87, 87, and 90. Next. Now, 
regarding the understanding of the deformity correction. You can see here, before embarking the any kind of deformity correction, please remember the 10 things. 10 things. Is there is deformity or is bone is deformed? Number two, source of the deformity, whether it's congenital or acquired. And the, where is the deformity? You must know the level of the deformity and the plane, in which plane? This is in anteroposterior, sagittal plane, oblique plane, or in which plane? You should have to identify that one before embarking the deformity. And you can see the magnitude of the deformity, what is the degree of a deformity, and where to do the osteotomy. You must know in which place you should do the osteotomy, and which kind of osteotomy you are doing. That is the uh, 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 type of osteotomy. You should know that with the Elizaro surgeon, we, we are always using the Elizaro ex external fixator. That's why we are doing one type of, or two types or three types of osteotomy. And whether we are correcting this, uh, you are going to correct this equitably or gradually, and which kind of hardware fixation either internal or external, which one is going to fix, you should have to know that one. And very important thing, dear friends, never operate on the wrong bone. These are the 10 understandings of deformity corrections. Now, if you think about it, I am okay, you're okay. That means everything is okay, no problem. I am okay, you are banned. That means you have a problem and how to measure that problem. And always gaming with your brain, intelligent games, deformity options which option should be correct, and treatment strategies. Now, approach to the deformity correction. Three questions have to be answered always. Is the limb normal or the limb is aligned? If the limb is not aligned, where is the malalignment? And question number three, how to correct the deformity? If the limb is normal, then we shall have to think about this. A normal limb is an aligned limb. Hip, knee, and ankle joints all are collinear to each other abnormal, not collinear to each other. And we should have to think about the mechanical axis deviation. Here you see normal mechanical axis deviation, zero to eight mm. And look at this deformity. Just look at, I'll show you later on this. If the limb is normal, if the mechanical axis is normal position, it is aligned. If there is mad mechanical axis deviation more than normal, eight millimeter, medial to the center of the joint line, limb is not aligned. Now, normal alignment parameters. In mechanical axis, you can see here AP and lateral sagittal view. Sagittal, three things. Only you should have to remember this year. Here, I have repeatedly told you 90, 87, 87, and this 90. Here, a little bit one, you know, just uh, forget about this one to keep it in your mind. Easy, 87, 87. This is 89, this is 90 is okay, this is 90. Okay. Otherwise, you will not forget. And in sagittal view, see PPFA, proximal femoral, C angle here, 90 degree. PDFA, PDFA, you see laterally, 83, 83, 90, 83, 81, and this is 80. From top to below, in sagittal view, up is 90, then 83, then 81, then is 80. So these are the angles. You should have to keep it in your mind for deformity correction. Now let us see the sum mal alignment test. Veras deformity and valgus deformity, you'll see in your day-to-day -day practice like Met Lateral mechanical axis always denotes the valgus deformity. You can see here, this one. And medial mechanical axis denotes all as well as deformity. And I'll, I'll show you later on, you can see. Question number two, if the limb is not aligned, where is the malalignment? Question number, you can see, you shall have to identify the location of the malalignment. This is seen by joint orientation angles. I have repeatedly told you LPFA means there is a deformity where you can see an LDFA, there is a deformity in the lower femur, MPTA, mechanical, medial, proximal, tibial ankle deformity in the upper tibia, and abnormal LBT means there is a deformity at the ankle. And 
Now, in Vera's mat, you can see here, dear friends, only just for your MPTA, normal 87, here is 85. That means problem is here. And LDFA, lateral distal femoral angle, you can see here is 90. This is normally 87. This is 85. This is 80. Here is 90. That means greater. And next one, both deformity in the tibia and the femur. So our full joints, this is this one, femur and tibia, both are affected. Now, in valgus, you can see here, MPTA here. If you see the MPTA, this is 90. It is normally 87. Uh, this is 87. L this is less than 85. Former is here. So both distal tibia and femur, you can see the deformity. What is the source of deformity? Dear friend, now you can see the source of deform mechanical lateral distal femoral angle. Here is 94. This is 87. So the problem is here. This is normal. This mechanical axis deviation. Again, you can see here, this is 94. This is 82. Problem is both the femur and tibia, upper tibia. And JLC, a joint line orientation angle, it will also change. Normally, this is 0 to 2 degree. See, look at this. Same, same. JLC here, you can see this is 7 degree. Joint line convergence angle. And now, Mel alignment source, you can see here, femur, think about the femur. Here 894, here is 87, this is normal, here is 82, this is 94, this is not normal, this is not normal, and JLC here you see, seven degree. So depending on your deformity, you should have to take decision where you will go for osteotomy. Now rotational deformity, dear friends, High foot axis, you can see this is normal. This is positive. This is negative. Tibial torsion, a patella forward. You should have to think about the rotational deformity of the tibia. Now let us see the rotational deformity of the femur. See, rotated 45 degree. This is also 45 degree. I put forward. Now, if you see your problem in the hip angle, don't affect the mechanical axis. Look at this, your problem in the here. LPFA 115 degree, uh, here is LDTA 90 degree. This is 90, this is, it must be 90, it must be 90. Here is 70, so 20 degree problem. Here is 90, 115 degree, 25 degree problem. How to correct the deformity? For this, we have to identify three things. Level of cora, true apex of the deformity, level of the hinge, which place you are going to place the hinge and level of the osteotomy. These are the very important things, dear friends. And the uh, center of rotation of angulation of the deformity. Uh, this is Kora, you know, there is true effects of the deformity. Now, I will sequentially go for this Kora and magnitude of deformity. Now you can see here, normal fiber and varus tibia. You draw the axis, mechanical axis, and you can find here, the problem in the distally, you can see here, 30 degree, you draw a mechanical axis, mechanical axis, this card, this is the magnitude, this is, is 30 degree. Total our 180 degree, if you cut this 180 degree minus 30 degree, 150 degree, if you draw a bisector line, I'll show you later on that it'll, it will be half. Now see, Bone can be divided into proximal and distal segment. Now, you can see here, Cora is the intersection of the proximal bone axis, and surgeon has no control over the level of the Cora. This is the true apex. You have drawn a line, drawing a line. This is the angle magnitude. You should be correct. This is the bisector line, tibial bisector line. This is the true apex of the deformity or center of rotation of angulation. Now, Elizaro fixer has broadly two comp components. Number one, hinge, and number two, rings and pins. Hinge by which you correct any kind of deformity. Professor Elizaro and Professor Shipsov always told all the time, you give me the hinge, I will correct all kinds of deformity. By which rings and pins, we can fix the Elizaro fixator. Hinge is the most important component of the Elizaro apparatus. And surgeon has complete control over the level of the hinge, dear friends, mind it. If you mismatch the hinge, 
you are doing wrong. And this is the speed of correction, rule of triangle, very easy. You can correct and you can get a Y-shaped bone. This picture I've taken from the Kurgan. Kurgan, these Russians, they have made like this, you see, very good picture. Do a stotomy here, do a stotomy here, and gradually you go for the destruction. And normal femur, whereas tibia, metaphysical deformity. Think about this, how to identify the uh, deformity. See here, C magnitude is year 12, and tibia is depressed, and uh, this is your LDTA. LDTA, lateral distal tibial angle is 90 degree. This is normal. Or uh, here is the uh, uh, deformity in the upper tibia. Uh, that is 12 degree magnitude. You should correct that one. Now let us see the, some scenarios depending on the deformities. Genuverum, see, young chap. Look at this. Genuverum with placement of the hinges and with olives. See? Genuverum, this is young chap, correct head, and after eight months, you can see the follow-up. Good regenerated bone, axis is okay, no problem. Scenario two, same, various deformity, the upper tibia shortening. Look at this angle. You could, if you have to draw yourself angle, then you can easily think yourself how much magnitude of deformity you should have to correct. So this is during treatment. And see, dear friends, after five months, good regenerate with good correction. Look at the left side and look at the right side. So normal femur, distal tibia virus. Here you can see 88 degree LDTA. Here is magnitude is 40 degree. And upper portion femur and knee joint is okay. So normal femur with distal tibia virus. Now I'll show you the scenario. See this one. Post-infective left tibia with ankle virus with shortening, young chap. Look at this. If you draw a line, lateral view and AP view axis. See, look at this. Placement of the hinge. Only the weights, biocompatible thin weights. I never use any kind of shunts in the tibia. This is the teaching from the Kurgan. So these biocompatible thin weights by which you can correct any kind of deformity in the tibia. So, radiological view, before and after, you can see good range of white correction and good regenerated bone. Lengthening is also, also achieved after 11 months. Now see this young lady came to me with the recurvatum and various deformity. Look at this. If you think about this, this is okay more or less. No, the patient was always complaining. Then you draw the line, see the cora, and put your a little bit osteotomy, little bit osteotomy. See, I have been the 19 angry hinges and then everything is okay during treatment. Look at this. Finally, you see this one, how much I have corrected after one year. Look the left side and the right side of the X-ray. Recurvatum is totally corrected and anatomical axis is corrected. Patient does not have any complaint and she is doing well. Dear friends, can you hear me sound here? Sir, very less sound. Yes, sir. Very sound? A clear sound. Clear, clear sound? sound? Yes, sir. Clear sound. Okay, sir. Clear? Clear. Can you hear? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, done here. Listen to this. Nazmul is asking about the video sound. Can you hear the video sound? No, video sound is not here. Video, this video is not here? No, there video is... sound is not audible. Okay, okay, then listen. See this one. See this one. This is the angulation. And if you put your hinge in the top a little bit, in the apex, in the convex side, and go for gradual destruction, you are, you are getting a little bit opening waves, and your line is collinear, axis is okay. Bone. You are getting a degenerate bone. Collinear. Rule number one. That means if you put your hinge over the true apex of the deformity and do the osteotomy, you are correcting without any translation and angulation. And angulation.
away from the aorta, and then if you go for destruction, you are getting a opening wedge regenerate bone, and line is okay. Opening wedge bone. like this, then if you do it like this, if you correct the deformity, you will see the bone is, you are making your bone shorter. Or smaller. Angulation. You will not get any kind of translation and angulation. Now, another time you can see here, this is the angulation. If you put your hinge at the concave side away from the true apex of the deformity, and if you go for correction, you Pora, use line. This is the bisector line. Then if you compress, this is compression type of deformity correction. Shorter, and uh, now three three things are that you can see. This is your angulation. If you put your hinge away from the true apex of the cora, and the same center, and if you gradually correct, you will get a wide range of regenerate bone without any translation and angulation. Right. You are getting wide range and lengthening your bone. Another view, you can see here, if you put your hinge, true apex of the deformity, put your hinge back to the true apex of the deformity, and you are getting wide range of regenerative bone or translation and angulation. And angulation. Now, Finally, you can see if you put your hinge that in front of the top of the top of the convex side deformity, then you are getting and you are correcting what you'll get. You'll you'll get a wide range of regenerative bone with translation and angulation. And your proximal one is going down and distal one is going up. This is the placement of the hinges. Now, osteotomy level, surgeon has relative control over the osteotomy side. It depends on the condition of the bone and the soft tissues. Now, dear friends, see the rules of the osteotomy. Rule number one, if you go for this, see this one. Uh, here is the aka axis, then you are getting this, and you are getting this, see this one. You can remove a short video and widening this. This is the osteotomy rule number one. So now let us see the osteotomy rule number two. If you aka ACA angulation correction axis angle, then if you do your osteotomy below the cora, there you are getting a correction with angulation and translation. And this is the osteotomy rule number three. Uh, you, you can do like this. You see, this is the cora, and you can, if you do the osteotomy here, you are doing, getting a parallel, parallel, you know, bone. This is not, axis is not in the same collinear. Now, dear friends, osteotomy principles, I told you this is the bisector line. Bisector line. This is the bisector line. Here you can see the true effects of the deformity. This is the opening wedge. This is tibial bisector line. This is closing wedge. And you can do with this way, you can gain the length or you can lose the length. So this, uh, this is osteotomy uh, principle. Next you can see here rule number two. If you see here, 
your this is your coda this is your coda true effects of the deformity three things here opening wedge neutral wedge and the closing wedge see look at this if you do the osteotomy here you are getting this kind of here if you if you remove a part of the bone you are getting this kind of uh, correction and if you do the below the coda that it will come like this here ldta how much i told you 90 degree here is the 70 degree so you should have to calculate this one draw a line here dot this is 20 degree remove this one and you shift this one you can put the laser of here and you will correct the you getting the ldta 90 here is a 70 so you have corrected 20 degree ldta now dear friend normal tibia and vera swimmer your tibia is normal femur is problematic you should have to identify where is the problem same you go again scenario 5 you can see here vera swimmer with implant ferio with a 3 cm lld eh? this is here is the implant failure broken implant non union 20 degree of the implants now see you can see the jlca is a problematic joint line is reduced joint space is reduced your deformity is 20 degree then we have to what we should have to do that one we have done the remove the implant and we have cheat union with the lizarov see good good formation good stability and good ring fixator in the femur and in the tibia and then we have done after six months correction was achieved union achieved but the problem with the knee stiff knee patient cannot tolerate his stiff knee or his stiff elbow because everybody wants to sit so i have done the judas quadriceps plasty same patient before and after you can see after six months follow-up you can see the length axis axis is okay this is before, this is after, this is only after six months. Then you can go for, you can go for, this is after Judas Quadriceps Plasty. Same patient, Judas Quadriceps Plasty, after four months, you can see patient can do the 90 degree. We can say this is the normal for the stiff knee. So now sagittal plane, uh, deformity is their friend here. Only the calculation, mathematical calculation, so Elizar of first alphabet intelligent. You must be intelligent. You should have to calculate everything with your brain. See here 20 degree in lateral view, 20 degree tibial osteotomy. You should have to do here. See, look at this. Femoral osteotomy, you can see how much 20 degree. Very easy. This is not difficult. Only you should have to think yourself here to the soft tissue lengthening. We have done. You should have to do, not we have done, you should have to do. This is a sagittal plane deformity. This is C, LDFA. Uh, if you know the angle, all the angles, then it is very easy for you to correct the deformity. See the how to correct, how to correct here, eight degree, 12 degree. Uh, now let's proceed. Now, dear friends, multi-epical deformities. Here you, that young girl, I have shown you, you can do this way and that way. We have another thing is this, Doing deformity, see multi apical. Femur, joint orientation line, joint orientation angle. This is 90 degree. But your cora is here. But I can see here is the pseudo cora. You can do the pseudo cora, means two coras here. You can draw the two coras here also. And you can measure the uh, angulatory deformity here. See, scenario six. Look at this. Here is the tibia. If you look at the femur and tibia, both are deformed. If you draw one line here from here, and then draw a line here, this is your axis. Then if you draw from here to here, there were two coras here, one cora here, one cora here. This is called pseudo cora. And you can do the correction of two level osteotomy here easily. Here I have done the two level osteotomy here, you can see one osteotomy here, one osteotomy here. Two level osteotomy for beautiful correction and placement of the hinges. Placement of the hinges. Now you can see next, 
after six months follow up. This is after six months follow up. Same, same girl, see too much, we get, see the backside, fantastically corrected with only the biocompatible thin wires. No chance, no hybrid. Now scenario C, same, these are the difficult cases. I'm showing you the multiple deformities. If you see these kind of deformities, don't be afraid. Bone quality is not good. You can put chance, but it is very difficult to place the chance and to hold the chance with the bones. And these biocompatible tenures help you to deviate any kind of deformity. See, during treatment, I have done the osteotomy. I have translated a little bit. Now you can see the axis in the AP view, a lateral view. Now see, the bones are corrected. This is before, this is, this is after. Okay, see, look. See, college teacher, government college teacher, very difficult case. At the age of 32, he came to me to correct his deformity, multiple deformities. Deformities in the knee, deformities in the ankle, and deformities in the foot. After eight months only, and nine months follow up, he's working. See, look, see the patella tracking. Patella tracking. Where is the knee? Where is the ankle? Where is the foot? Now he's too much happy. He's a college teacher, government college teacher. Rate of deformity correction. Structure at risk. Convec concavity of the deformity correction. You should have to think about the bone, soft tissue. Not more than one millimeter per day. Tailored to a specific patient based on post-operative assessment. You should have to do everything. Scenario nine, same dear friends, problem in the femur, problem in the tibia. Same. After one year. Now look at this, right hip, 39 years old man with coxavara. How to treat? See the angle, see the trochanter, and see the whole pelvis. I have done the osteotomy, look at the angle, center of the head, see the center of the head. I've done the osteotomy here. You just put one chance here, and these are the console wires, one chance here, deviate, angle is corrected, and I have lengthened. This is 1990 hinge, and patient is happy, and ongoing treatment means Due to Corona, patient is talking with me with all the time. I was supposed to remove the apparatus. Very bad case, dear friends. Just you look, when you'll gain knowledge, you'll be expert. You can do any kind of deformity correction. Look at this. After one year, look at this. After two years, 12 years. Now, see again, juxtaticular deformity. If you look at the knee here, you will not be able to understand what is the situation of the tibia, upper tibia and femur. Very difficult. See how she is working. She is from Myanmar, came to me, not the Rohingya. She is from Myanmar. She came from Myanmar for treatment and treated this lady. Look at this. Depressed. Whole depressed. Here, see. Not medial Condyle plateau, you cannot see. And here I have done the opening wage osteotomy with hinges, multiple wires, and nothing else. And gradually we have corrected. See here. Now if you see here, this is depressed. Joint, think about the joint. Joint is gone. So a placement of the hinges you see, I have placed, I have placed this wire. Now she's working like this. And then next step, see, I have elevated this, how much degree you can see here. Again, I have elevated, I have done the osteotomy here and gradually I've elevated this one. 
and what I have done next you can see here the elevation of the uh, medial condyle almost the same this is okay there's a little bit problem in the joint line orientation but they see the deformity see the ankle and the foot after one year patient is happy I am also happy now look how she's walking after two years follow-up, after two years follow-up. It's a beautiful girl with deformity, multi-typical juxtarticular deformity. Fibrous dysplasia, dear friends, bone quality is not good. Three times operation was done, this case. Then I have removed, done the osteotomy with multiple k wires and console wires. I've corrected this one. This is during treatment. Now see the bone quality before and after. This scenario, this is a very difficult case. This is the daughter of a, our medical detector. She went outside our country and she was supposed to go for imputation. I showed this case to Dror Pale after doing this. He was a studies. It's very good, see, look. Look this case, see, see the bone, then deformity, and this is, you can say, the super ankle. See the backside, and see patient is walking before and after. These are the deformities that can, you, can, you, can, you can meticulously correct if you're sincere, if you're devoted, if you are dedicated, then you can do something for the people. Passion is very much happy. She's my Facebook friend now. See, dear friends, do you think this is uh, uh, very difficult? No, I will still no difficult. Steve non union, see. What I have done, you know, most of the orthopedic surgeon, you know, they know. They put, put the ring with wires, and I have done the only osteotomy in the fibula and then gradual destruction. See, gradual destruction, osteotomy in the fibula here, you can see, and gradual destruction. What happened after four years? No infection after five years. Now, after six years, see the follow up. And this is after 10 years follow-up, you can see here. So bone quality is good, everything is okay, long follow-up. So monkey mouth, see the AP view, lateral view difference. Good quality of bone here, good quality of bone here. You don't need to do anything, anything. If you know the Elizarov, uh, you can help a lot of things this kind. See, look what I have done. Only the uh, rings, two rings with telescopic graphs not telescopic, with hinges, and go for gradual destruction, hypertrophic non-union. Uh, you can correct the deformity, shortening, and you don't need to put any bone graft. After eight months, see the long follow after six years, bony bump, monkey mouth, just like a mouth, just like a monkey. See, this I've given the name monkey mouth. Now, you can correct, see, after six years follow-up, body bump before and after, see? So the backside, so patient is working in foreign country, he's now foreigner. Deformity, only calculate, see? Only calculate, only calculate, now I'll go fast. Dear friends, one devastating injury case, he has taken to the OT for imputation. Took it as a challenge. See the fixator in situ. See the calcaneum, black skin. D1 in OR. After four months, compression destruction by Lizarov. And five months, seven months, nine months follow up. And now see the front and back after 11 months. A little bit limping, that doesn't, that doesn't matter. The patient is working with his own bones, own leg. No, almost I'm going to bad case one. Everything cannot cover all the time. See, look at this. And 
this case, I would like to show you, this was the case of following the knee dislocation. He was treated elsewhere. And that patient came to me with big ulcer lateral border of the foot with equinus and plotos. See the plotos, equinus, and big ulcer. Then I know the lizard in my head, the philosophy and principle I know, then I took it, took him, principle and philosophy, see the toe, dear friends, toe, and putting the wires here, and see the toe, radiographic view, smiling patient with healed ulcer. I have put the multiple care wires, wear technique only. See clinical appearance of the patient after five months, and final clinical appearance of the foot that all the toes, which was gangrenous, was everything healed. There was a vascular impairment after the following the knee dislocation. So now this is post-polio one, post-polio deformity. I would like to proceed quick before correction. See, knee, ankle, and foot deformity. So proceed fast. This is C. Relapse CTB, PMR was done, 14 years, Irani girl, look at this, bony deformity in the, in the midfoot, forefoot, and hindfoot. Then four months follow up, look at the toes in a standing position. And one case I'd like to show you Upper extremity, I have not mentioned. I talked about the default of the lower. You can do also upper extremity, see? And this is the video. See before, the deformity at the raised and shortening. And this is during, and this is after. So stages of preoperative planning. This is very important. Determination of the true deformity quora, calculating of the amount of deformity correction, biomechanical designing, determination of osteotomy level, determination of the osteotomy shape, and selection of the deformity correction. This is I've taken from my, when I was the student in Kurgan. See, a diagram so beautifully from Kurgan. See, how to put and how to do this. See, this is also from Kurgan. See, here, yeah, regenerative bone. This is trapezoid white shape, regenerative bone. How can do very easily. See also amount of bone formation, trapezoidal regenerated bone. Stages of surgery, osteosynthesis of the leg bones, you know, insertion of the wires and others, placement of the hinges, especially how to place, when to place, why to place of the hinge, very important for deformity correction. Skin incision, approach to the bone, osteotomies, deformity correction, partial or complete, or is skin closing and check x-ray all the time. Main principles of transosseous osteosynthesis for deformity correction, insertion of wires with the stoppers, that is olive wires in the process of deformity correction. And hypercorrection of the external supports of the transosseous fixator during its mounting. Proper and efficient arrangement of the fixator hinge parts, units. See, this is also very beautiful drawing from the Kurgan. See, you can, Variant of fixed configuration for correction of the deformity. Leg upper third with knee protection. This is you can protect the knee. Placement of the hinge. Do the osteostomy only telescopic rock. Then you can easily correct, and you are getting a very good regenerative board here. So the axis is okay. Hinge is okay. Everything is okay. Next slide you see this a variant fixed configuration of correction of the valgus deformity of the leg upper third. How we can put? See the placement of the ring wires and hinges, and gradually you correct, you will get the correction, good correction. So this is another variant, stages of post-operative management, gradual correction of residual deformity, proper dressing, very important. In Kurgan Center, they are doing very nicely. And I always try to follow this proper dressing. Adequate functional and static weight bearing of the limb, efficient exercise therapy, dear friends, putting the Elizaro apparatus, and we are not doing any therapy that is not good. Controlling the regenerated bone condition all the time after doing the x-ray. And periods of 
fixate and removal are determined by following the mean periods of consolidation depending on the amount of deformity, limb shortening, patient's age, and etiology, the presence of the excess signs of newly formed bone, and the data of clinical testing, the consolidation stability. You should have to keep it in your mind. And principles of removing the transocious fixator, adherence to the indications for the fixator removal, consolidation, clinical signs, and x-ray, and of course, the sound anesthesia. Very good anesthesia. A patient should observe the following after the removal of the lizard of fixator. Axial and functional loading of the limb should gradually increase. Adequate exercise therapy could continue. Regular procedures of physical therapy and control of subsequent examination for all the time. Tactical errors, the wrong selection of the number and the levels of the osteotomies. The faults in the cal cal calculations of the limb segmental deformity and shortening, neglecting the disease etiology and the patient age. These are the tactical errors. And what about the technical errors? In the preoperative period, the wrong selection of the Elizaro fixator supports and the parts. While performing surgeries, non observing the rules of the wiring session, biomechanical principles of mounting the fixator supports and units, making osteotomies, neglecting the creation of soft tissue reserve during wiring session and fixation. These are the technical errors that you should have to keep it in your mind. The errors should be keep in mind post operatively dear friend see unreasonable frequently changing the fixator non observance of deformity correction rates the absence of timely x ray control with dynamic regeneration incorrect interpretation of x rays premature removal of the fixator underestimation of the importance of exercise therapy and the possibilities of early limb weight bearing with the fixator applied and complication of course you should have to keep it in your mind during treatment. You should have to face a lot of complications. If you don't do meticulous, intelligent follow-up, you will get a lot of problems. And the problems you can overcome all the time very nicely. See what are the equinus deformity, knee contracture, pseudoarthritis formation, subluxation. These are all depends on your placement of the hinges and meticulous follow-up. So, dear friend, this is a bridge you see. A tension wire, having a bridge, a wire working on a tension wire. So Elizaro wires always gives you the proper tension. If you apply the proper tension, you will get a good uh, result. Living with Elizaro frame. See, lady beautiful, doing exercise, child with Elizaro. Everybody is telling all the time in the female cumbersome. What do you mean by cumbersome? I don't understand. Cumbersum. Now I'll show you a picture cumbersome. See, the, my request, those who are doing the Elizaro surgery in the femur, please make this kind of trolley. And in my center, I have my all beds are like this here. All that. Like so that patient can, pen can take comfort. You can give comfort. Otherwise, if you don't give comfort with ring fixator in the femur, if you don't do a space here, how patient will, will sleep? Now see, cumbersome in the femur. Patient is doing exercises. This is in my center. They will exercises with femur, lift up. The fundamental principle of Elizar methodology is load and motion. This is they are giving load and motion. Put the Elizar of, if you don't give any motion, if you don't compress, then you cannot get good outcome, you cannot get good regenerated bone. So this is the beauty of doing Elizarov surgery. See, patient is doing exercises with femur. This is not a matter of job. If you properly place the um, fixator in the femur, patient can do, patient can walk. I showed you one with this. And in conclusion, dear friends, in cosmesis and deformity correction, excellence is achieved by Correcting the correct deformity at the correct coda. That means in the correct place to the deformity based on correct planning, but the correct method to achieve the correct correction. This is my conclusion here. And yesterday that day I talked to you, trifocal bone transport by Lizarov technique. You can see here a good shortening 
and lengthening. Sorry, a good shortening uh, here. You can see a good shortly lengthening monofocal approach, single level bone transport, bifocal approach, and double level bone transport. This is called trifocal approach. This is the cases, and this is published in February, February 2020 this year. So this is this is other publications. I cannot show you all these things. This is fibrous dysplasia, correction of the bone deformities. Judas Cradisus Plasty. You can go through in Med Crave American Journal. These are the my uh, foreign fellows. You can see from Nigerian fellows, Indian, British, and uh, Korea. And this is Obinna. This is from Amba. This is from Jordan. This is India. This is from UK. These are all from Malaysia, 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 Nigeria, Nigeria. This is my foreign fellows. So this is the first time we did our conference 2009 where our health, health minister, Professor Rulok, was present. This is now the director, Goni Mullah, ex-director, Abdullah Professor SB. This is the Russian ambassador and Professor Shepso there. And we conducted the first conference there. And this is all our Bangladeshi Lizarvians. I love to see all the Lizarvians and Indian friends. I don't see the Shamsuludas picture here, but he was with us all the time. Mm. So the man who made it possible, great scientist, talented doctor, gifted innovator, creator of the apparatus, method transocious osteosynthesis, academician, Russian academic of medical science. A physician must observe nature, learn from it to be able to rectify its flaws. 15th of this month, the birthday of Professor Elizaro. And we are going to observe that one. We have a, uh, in Kurgan Center, there will be a webinar conference and we'll join them. It is my dream that I always, this was given from me, to me from the Elizaro Center. Mm. And Shepso, Professor, I always remember him, respect him from the core of my heart. And probably he's listening about this uh, webinar session. And see, these are the all stalwarts. Dear friends, I must say you, this man, Professor Organisian from Central Institute of Traumatology in Moscow, he was the rival of Professor Elizaro. Organisian technique, he was teaching me, he was using all the time half ring Organisian apparatus, and he was my opponent when I was doing PhD, Professor Mir Hakim Azizov, he died three months back. Professor Arja Gast of creator of our National Institute. And this was the Americans. They are the followers of the Drone Palace. They, I did this operation in Miami earthquake with our friend, junior friend Monem. I did the surgery. Americans, they are doing reserve surgery. And you know this and this Kulkarni. I must pay respect to all these. And this is the daughter of the uh, Professor Elizarov, Sivitlana Elizarov, Arjanbar, Ketagni, Yamalus, you know, Terswat, Melind, and Fernandez, and Korean, my friend, Korean. Challenges in life, three, only two minutes, probably. Three categories. Easy, difficult, and impossible. Who take the easy way have a safe and boring life. Those with difficult way have a tough, satisfied love. But those who are taking the impossible way are remembered forever. And I love to do the difficult and impossible things. And boldness should not exceed one's skill. Whenever you do anything new, everybody will be ridiculed. They will love you. In starting point, they will love you, ridiculed. And then time passes, time passes, they will violate your post. And after a few months, six or seven months, eight months, they, if they say you have corrected something, you have leveled something, they will accept it as self-evidence. So remember these three stages, everywhere. So three stages. There are three kinds of people in this world who make people, things happen, who watch things happen, and who wonder what happened? Which category do you follow? You think yourself. 
and confidence is better than perfection. Perfection means doing the best, but confidence means knowing how to handle the worst. And this is uh, in my center, all orthopedic courts with Elizaro. See, dear friends, fail, don't think fail. Fail stands for first attempt in life. And never think that you have end. End never dies. End means never dies. And let us not be satisfied with just giving money. Money is not enough. Money can be got, but they need your heart to love them. So spread your love everywhere you go. For deformity correction, you should have to love your patient and carry a home message. I always show this everywhere because I have the evidence that I have shown you. I have the science. I'm working with the science and I have the skill, surgical skill of the surgeon that I try my best to do something for the poor people of my country. The terminology is very good. Technology, sorry, is very good for machines like computers and telephones. But human body, we need to go a step further. That is called biology. And all technologies have to be biologically oriented. And Elizar of Technique gives this biology. It is not only essential that a costly technique is more advantageous. Let us be the leaders in advocating biological and techniques and me mechanical techniques that Globe might appreciate that we can do that. Elizar of Surgery has gained a very strong foothold in my country, Bangladesh, and in world arena. So, uh, these are the uh, cages, you know, our poor people, middle class people, you could help. This is the third world in Nigeria, in India, in Bangladesh, in Nepal, even in Russia. See, this is the technique you can do. So I have 78 international publications, international 41, 20 and other things. This is my book. And within a short time, I'm going to publish a book on Elizabeth technique in the upper limb. Thank you very much. I always convey my gratitude to this gentleman, Professor Gobin, Professor, you know, there is Borjunov, Shved, the, 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 that I learned from always from them. I must say, the, all the deformity surgeons in Kurgan Center, if I remember their name, very, very, you know, I must always remember the Professor, you know, Shepsov, Professor Shigirov, Professor Murjikov and Professor Ivanov, Toplenki, Novikov, Shikilova, and you know, the uh, Klushin, Martel, Popkov, they're all deformity correction surgeons. Nowhere in the world you will get a lot of deformity surgeons. This is true. I must give you this message to all you all that what I've learned from the Kurgan Center, that I am decentralizing this to my young uh, surgeons, young colleagues. Uh, I invite you all to learn Elizarov and you can do whatever you like in your body. Thank you so much, dear friends. Thank you, sir. Uh, if you please uh, stop your screen share, then I can uh, view the gallery view. Uh, and so we can uh, see the all the participants. And uh, on announcement is that please um, send your question uh, to me in the chat box or you can hands up so that I can unmute your microphone and you can uh, you can uh, connect with my professor Bari sir and um, uh, please um, uh, please uh, just uh, make your question I will uh, come back to you very shortly before uh, going to the question answer session uh, I uh, want to um, uh, hand it over the microphone to some of the dignities for participant from uh, Bangladesh and other part of the world so that they can have comment to overall the uh, uh, session. And uh, before uh, going to that, I want to make my comment um, uh, for Barisar. Um, the presentation was superb. And uh, to me, it is like a living documentary of, um, of deformity correction. Uh, the cases are very, very difficult cases. And you can uh, see all the planning and how the post-operative and pre-operative. And uh, one thing I must say that, uh, that your documentation is uh, superb. Uh, many of the surgeons in my country, um, including me, 
as very reluctant to take the document when i prepared anything there are many thing are uh, well, missing some pre operative there is no pre operative x ray maybe post operative no follow up x ray so the one thing we can learn from you documentation even uh, as i am a student of you from the very beginning i know that many of the cases you show us are uh, a very long time uh, line uh, follow up and all the things you preserve very nicely and uh, for me i can uh, say for barisar is that uh, you make uh, to feel some the elizarab surgeon of bangladesh to think all the time about elizarab to dream about elizarab to um, uh, to do their practice and they are earning only depending on elizarab so uh, barisar you are the person who makes us to feel makes us to dream that you can choose the elizarab only elizarab Uh, no, nothing other uh, technique uh, to do your uh, clinical practice so uh, now i am uh, going to uh, some um, other doctors uh, to have comments and uh, short comments and then we will go for the interaction session i am going to uh, amir hussain sir uh, uh, to please uh, unmute your microphone and have a comments about the uh, barisar presentation and then you will go amir hussain sir uh thank you uh, uh bari bhai thank you uh, as because the uh, uh, this is elaborate discussion um and the presentation which is uh, very much enthusiastic and uh, um uh, more uh, um, advanced stage as because uh, you um, correctly uh, demonstrate the uh, angulation of the um, femur uh, and upper tibia upper femur lower femur um, and uh, Now, occasionally there is a deformity in two bone but we correct the one bone only and adduction is not always uh, performed uh, so um, uh, your ang uh, angulation uh, calculation is uh, very um, uh, uh, very uh, useful uh, for the elizar of surgeon and um, uh, i think uh, calculation Uh, uh, may help uh, in the future for better correction of the um, uh, deformity. Bharas uh, or Bhalgas. Thank you, uh, Bari sir. Thank you, uh, Bari bhai. Uh, the elaborate discussion and uh, uh, for the uh, um, new uh, era of uh, education in Elijah Rov also. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, for your nice comments and now i am uh, going to uh, one of our foreign participant uh, dr prs uh, please unmute your microphone and uh, before going to question session you can uh, 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 comments uh, about the overall session today about barisar presentation prs uh, sir yeah, can you hear me yes sir you can hear you sir uh, it was a very excellent presentation and as you rightly said it was a living document and living evidence that how we can uh, incorporate this technology i mean generally it is not uh, well taught in your residency periods and then uh, after residency you have to learn on your own because now uh, as sir told many surgeons find it cumbersome but cumbersome is just a ignorance because what is not used to that technology so really it's a very inspiring lecture from sir that uh, we should Use this technology, especially in this COVID era, when uh, we have the fear of aerosol generating procedures. I think this is the procedure every ordinary surgeon should learn now, because it may be in coming uh, years, and uh, we have to take it up because of this uh, problem of COVID also. Because if we if we want to give our patients, uh, I mean. Uh, Biologically oriented solutions. This is the thing that we should go for. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, sir, for a nice, uh, inspiring uh, comments. And uh, also, the, uh, uh, now I am searching uh, for uh, Dr. Samshil Gupta, sir. Samshil Gupta, sir, if you are online. Samshil Gupta is here. Yes, I'm here. Yes, Samshil Gupta, sir, uh, please uh, have some comments before uh, going to the question answer session. uh thank you dr arif thank you bari sir for for again and again a wonderful learning from you sir mm -hmm. whenever I, i listen to you a lot so much things from you and really want to come to you again for uh, listening sir 
it was a very wonderful lecture on deformity correction and uh, awesome examples of uh, very difficult cases of uh, limb length def deficiency and deformities i'll just uh, add uh, uh, the points what i do in very short that in my patients when i do a deformity correction cases most of all i take a full length x ray that is full length scanogram from hip to toe so to compare from uh, the right side, the normal side to the abnormal side so in a scanogram we can uh, check for this uh, Limb length def uh, deficiency, mechanical deviation, and true mechanical and anatomical axis, and the joint angle angles. So this can be truly calculated only when we have a full true uh, view, uh, full length X-ray. That is full scanogram. That is the first point. We get a. We must do a first uh, full length scanogram. And number two, uh, sir, I told you about the formula of Cora. You can also do with the formula for this uh, American Dr. Hazelmus formula, map the ABC. You can also do with that. Uh, that really explains about uh, uh, the uh, example. If you see map there, you see uh, M stand for measure the mechanical deviation. A is to analyze the joint angles. P is to pick the deformed bone, which is the femur or tibia, and A is the apex of deformity of the cora. And then bone cut and then correction. So this formula we should also learn. And what I do in my cases is I calculate all this on my app app on the Bone Ninja app. So this gives me exact calculation and exact pre. Uh, surgery, uh, virtual correction, planning for the patient. So how much I have to do the correction, how much I have to do the LLD, how much I have to correct the rotation. So uh, this four things one must uh, remember, do a full-end X-ray, uh, calculate, as you first said, uh, calculate all the deformities, joint angles, uh, the deficiency, and uh, if you can get it, you can use a bone in Jaya for that. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Samsulu. The sir, for sharing your own experience also and have nice comments about the uh, professor <laughs> Bari sir uh, lecture. And now <clears throat> you know that uh, this uh, the session is uh, lively telecast on YouTube channel of uh, Dr. Samsunoda sir, uh, Ortho World, and also Ortho TV Live. And you can enjoy that uh, from that link. And you are all uh, happy to know that. Uh, every day after the session, uh, me and Dr. Samsunuda sir uh, usually upload the videos of today's lecture on our YouTube channel. Please subscribe our YouTube channel that is Elizabeth Clinic KUMC and Ortho World so that you can get all the up update of the lecture just at the time it's uploaded. And now um, I, I am going to Dr. Indralin Dotto. So far I know he is from Kolkata. Uh, uh, please unmute your microphone and if you I uh, want to uh, uh, pass some comments. Please, you can communicate with us. Uh, Dr. Nil Dotto, can you hear me, sir? Dr. Indra Nil Dotto, can you hear me, sir? Okay, uh, I think um, we can uh, get to him later on. Now I'm going to uh, some of the friends of us from Nigeria. Um, uh, you uh, this uh, webinar a little bit international international uh, uh, going to the international platform the many peoples from india J uh, nepal um, and the middle east and also from nigeria um, mm -hmm. they are joining with us and um, we can have some uh, comments from them uh, if uh, you want to just pass comment you can put your hands up or i will just randomly select uh, some doctors from nigeria so that they uh, can got connected with us uh, sorry, so uh, I am. Uh, uh, so uh, I am going to Dr. Keen. Uh, Dr. Keen, if you can hear me, uh, uh, please, uh, please uh, yes. make your comments. Over. Yes, sir. Dr. Keen, uh, please uh, give your introduction. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes, can sir. Hear I can hear. Yes, sir. I can hear uh, you, sir. It has been a wonderful presentation and uh, a session that cannot uh, be quantified in any way. I've been longing for this uh, particular session, and uh, it has justified my waiting period. It's a wonderful presentation. I commend uh, Professor Barry. He has shown his expertise, and his, uh, uh, he brought his knowledge to bear. We've all benefited from it immensely. Uh, in fact, uh, I can also see that indeed he's a guru in this area. There's no doubt about it. I want to commend him for being a mentor to the younger ones. He has uh, shown that indeed 
those who are ready to learn, he's also ready to impart the knowledge. Uh, these are the kind of people we long to see, and uh, we pray for long life for them, so that we continue to tap from their wealth of knowledge. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, uh, thank you, sir, uh, for your nice comments. Uh, we always uh, pray for Bari, sir. Uh, for his uh, long life and I always um, oh. his blessing to us uh, for um, his um, teaching and for his uh, for his encouragement and now uh, I think um, uh, I will go for the question and session uh, because uh, it is already uh, one and a half hour past since we started the webinar and uh, for uh, you um, I just um, seen one from Dr. Um, Dr. Rashid Hassan Rani, and he have a question to the speaker. Um, Dr. Rashid Hassan Rani, if you can hear me, please. Uh, um, please yes, I uh, can. Have you... Yes, to uh, directly to Barisha. Yes, okay, okay. Thank yes, you, Dr. Yes, sir. Am I audible, sir? Yeah, yes, sir. You are audible. Okay. Thank yes, you. Uh, we can hear you. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> First of all, I want to convey my respect and congrats uh, to Professor Bari sir for his very, very excellent presentation, which was uh, full of rich content of topics and very much palatable form also for us. Sir, Assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum as Sir, uh, 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 I want to ask a question uh, to learn from you. Uh, uh, sir, uh, is there any chance of uh, displacement uh, at osteotomy site? During uh, deformity correction, if that, uh, then how uh, or what measure we can uh, take to prevent uh, uh, prevent uh, displacement uh, osteotomy site during correction? Sir, am I yes. correct, sir? Uh, uh, during osteotomy, if I do any yes. displacement, how could you take measurement? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This yes, is sir. this is you know the, your question. This is general questions. Good question. But for doing any surgery, especially the, as for example, if you put the hinges, deformity, varus or valgus, put the hinges fast. Listen, put the hinges fast. And then you do the osteotomy, then you will not be able to displace the bone. If you don't put the hinge, that means rod and hinge, do the osteotomy, you will make a displacement. This is very uh, uh, simple answer. So, before doing any osteotomy, place the hinge pa fast, hinge fast, then you will be able to do the osteotomy and there will be no displacement after doing placing the hinges. You understand me? Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I, uh, sir, uh, I have, have, a, you have any complimentary? Yes, sir. I have an additional question, sir. Sir. With, with your permission, can I ask one more question, sir? Yes. Sir. Yes, thank you, sir. Uh, sir, is there any chance of uh, recurrence of uh, deformity after correction? If that, uh, then how uh, how can we uh, prevent uh, recurrence of deformity? Meticulous, intelligent follow-up. And recurrence it can be. Patient can come to you with the problematic second time breaking of the regenerative boat come. You must, that's why before surgery, after surgery, I have mentioned something for the patients also. So you must be meticulous. You must be serious with the patient. And if it does happen, then you should have to tell your patient, go in this way, go in this way. And if you have to do it again. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Rashid Asrani, for nice introduction. And now, I, I, sir, uh, with your permission, I want to share my screen uh, so, so that on doctor from Nigeria, he sent me some uh, photograph for uh, discussion in this session. And uh, Dr. Adekunle Adebanjo, and I asked him to unmute and he can directly question. I am showing the, his screen. Uh, uh, please unmute Adebanjo, sir, with your introduction, and I am sharing the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'm uh, sharing my screen. 
Uhum. Tá bom. Sir, uh, can you see the X-rays? Yes, yes, yes. Letter, letter of you. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll send all this. Uh, this X-ray are sent by our Nigerian friend, and uh, uh, for his uh, comments regarding. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, this is AP view X-ray, and um, this is the clinical condition mm -hmm. uh, of this patient. Uh, uh, and this is the last uh, last uh, clinical photograph Six, and mm -hmm. again this is AP, mm -hmm. and this is uh, nine years old and i am i am going directly to the doctor uh, uh, so that uh, i am sharing my sharing uh, unmute your microphone if any yeah i've done that yes stop okay uh, okay, yeah. sir. Uh, 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 you have seen the X-ray. I, I have Adikula. seen now. Now I Adikula, have uh, X-ray quality is not too much, you know, too much good. Even then, I I I willing to pass my comment. See, the age of the patient is nine years. Okay. No, no, no. Patient no, is forty-six uh, years. So he's the telling nine years. Is nine years. No, no, the injury, injury is nine years. years. Oh, injury is nine years, 46 years. Then yes. listen, how much shortening of the patient? Of the limb, shortening. Yeah, six, six centimeter. Six centimeter. Listen, you can go for ankle fusion, denude the lower end of the tibia and the talus. You should have to see the subtalar joint also. If subtalar joint is affected, then you could you could go for triple arthrodesis of the ankle joint and lengthening in the top. Make five big angulation in valgus little, and go for lengthening metaphyseal region of the tibia. This is my suggestion by seeing the X-ray. Okay. You can also see that the Achilles tendon is very contracted. Uh, Achilles tendon is if it's contracted, you can go for very easily double step or triple step tenotomy for going the acrylic tendinous correction. And gradually you will pull with hinges from the backside, distraction. Okay? All right. This is a very good case. These are the common cases that we are getting all the time. Don't worry, he is out of. Clean, uh, the only uh, care was throw the talus and the, the there. Don't worry, you don't need to inside put any hardware. Because nine years patient is not getting any weight, giving weight beers. Bone quality is not good. The biocompatible thin wires with the Lizaro fixation will be better. And you will get a new new bone, bone quality will be good, new vessels, the skin color will be changed, vascularity will regain. Lot of things by Lizaro. But if you put something in the inside, you cannot, you know, uh, uh, get a good result with the bone quality. Bone quality, nine years not giving any pressure. So you must think yourself, the bone is osteoporotic. Bone is not good. Okay? You are satisfied or not? Sir, um, Adikula, sir, um, if you have any complimentary question, you can ask, sir. I see Dr. Anon is willing to tell something. Okay. Yes, sir, I, I'm going. Okay, sir, thank you, sir. More, uh, more you... no, complimentary questions before you oh. leave me. Okay. Yeah, other sir. questions. Uh, sir, please. please uh, unmute. Some of, can you hear me? Yes, sir. We yes. Can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Some some of the pictures Professor Barry presented, uh, some of them are not uh, full length. I they're yes. not kinograms. Is it is it not is I just want to ask, is it is it full length compulsory? Or you can just assess uh, because sometimes you don't have access to do a scanogram. In which you dear friends, the dear friends, the listen, listen. I, I do here in your center all the full length, 33%, 33%, 33%, I can compare. And individually, I take the full length of the both sides, affected and normal side. No, my, because my, challenge I, is that, my challenge is that in some centers, you can't have the full length. Will it affect what you're going to do? In some centers, you can't uh, have the full length. It is better. If you do full length, it's better. Otherwise, outside, you should have to calculate, measure everything. Eye estimation. That will also help. 
Okay. Okay. Last question. Last yes, question. Sir. Yes, sir. Please mm. go. How do we get some of, some of those your books? Very good books for beginners like us. How do we get some of those books? You come to my place and you'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> you can you you can talk with Emba. Wahabidusa. Yeah, I know Emba. Emba, know you know, Mba. you talk with Emba. He'll give you, and you could take Emba. He has got, and Wahabinusa. Okay. Eh, okay. And Obinna, you know Obinna. Yes, I know Obinna. I know. Obo, you I talk know. with them. You tell they, they will help you. All right. Okay. Sir, thank I, you. I think uh, you are getting popular in the international world also. So I no, think you, they, they are, they are, no, no, no. Everything with Allah. You know everything Allah. Sir, no, you are helping me. You are all my friends. I love all these people. Sir, your book should be a, a soft copy or a, a one-line copy. So yes, that, uh, there, anyone... there are two books. There are two books you can get from online, free. There is Law Limb and De uh, Pediatric Compression Destruction. Two books online you will get all the time. From You yes, see Medcrave American Journal from online, you can publish and get that so, one. Uh, uh, Adikullah, sir, I think uh, you got uh, the um, answer that you uh, can get some books also from the online. Medcrave, and... you search Medcrave, Dr. Bari, then you'll get two books. Yes, mm. sir. Uh, now I'm going to Dr. Anon. Uh, Dr. Anon, uh, please uh, <laughs> okay. uh, mute your microphone and uh, please uh, uh, your question to... Uh, he, he's a spine surgeon, a spine surgeon now. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. You can yes. hear you. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, thanks a lot to Kurgan Fellow Group for arranging such a uh, nice discussion here. And every uh, every uh, discussion uh, I am enjoying uh, from the first day. And uh -huh. especially uh, uh, thanks to uh, my friend, Dr. Arif, and others. And the great magician of Elizabeth of Bangladesh is Professor M.M. Mm -hmm. Barisar. Mm. Sir, um, very good evening and assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. Uh, actually, I have uh, many sweet and green memories with you, sir, uh, mm. during my resident period and several times I went to your palace. I have a mm. question, first of all, to you, and then I have another uh, sir, consultation about a patient uh, with uh, Dr. Shetu. I think Dr. Shetu uh, is here. Yes, yes sir. Shetu is here. Okay. Sir. Okay. First of all, uh, I have a question to Bari, sir. The question is, sir, tropic ulcer, that is neuropathic ulcer, due to old spine cause, old spine cause, is there any role of Elizarov without spinal intervention? Yes. Okay. Ulcer, ulcer in which place? Uh, in the sole. Sole of the foot, yes, there is a role. Because you can create, you can create a new vascularity, doing a osteotomy and bone transportation in the lower tibia, if in the soul, if in the soul, you can do that. Old spine. And at the same time, and at the same time, you should have to take the help of the plastic surgeon. Okay, okay, sir. Both. Okay, thank you, sir. Now, Doctor Shetu sir, I have a consultation with you. Uh, a patient, a male patient, 27 years, uh, you have done a very nice operation of upper limb. Uh, sir, uh, do, do you want to share your skin, sir, so that we can see the photograph? Do you want to share your yeah, skin? Yeah yeah, 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 I am showing. Uh, uh, this, uh, it is uh, about four months ago, you did this operation, and about two months back, uh, uh, you, uh, uh, the patient went to you for follow-up, and now uh, this is the X-ray I am showing you. This is the lateral view. Uh, please uh, share share your screen. Uh, so, we can uh, see. We can see. Uh, uh, my, is, uh, um, my my advice to Dr. Anon, please yeah, have yeah. a good photograph of your patient uh, X-ray, and you can send the. I X-ray to directly to Dr. Nazmul Huda Shetu's hot yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, sir, sure. hey, you can you can uh, have the opinion and your consultation later on. Okay. And, thank and now, you, now, for now, connect, Arif, this now is it possible to see just now? Hold, uh, oh, we are also interested. Okay, sir, yeah, because, yeah. Uh, sir, can you focus your uh, mobile camera closer yeah, yeah, to yeah, the yeah, yeah, box, yeah. sir? Yeah. yeah. 
This is the latest Excel. This is the AP view. Can you see it? Yes. yes. Sir, I... This uh, is the. Can AP you make here. it a bigger, a little bit bigger? Can you do it? Ah, uh, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sir, yes. I think uh, please uh, take a photograph and send it to us. Even you can send to this to the the message view. box. <clears throat> message box. No. Uh, we can. Not, not, not visible. Good. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, uh, if um, um, we have, um, I'm doing, doing, Arif, doing, 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 is waiting for asking questions. Yes, sir. I'm searching, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I am, uh, please, uh, doing, sir, please unmute your microphone. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, have yes, your introduction uh, and you can have your question, sir. Okay. Uh, good day, everybody. My name is Doin Oyenusi, and uh, I wish to say thank you to Professor Barry and all the other people that have uh, uh, presented. Although I came a bit late, I'm a practicing orthopedic surgeon here in Nigeria. I work for, for the military. And uh, my interest in... Uh, in a Lizarov was packed off about uh, seven years ago when I was working in uh, Israel with uh, Mark, uh, Mark and Dr. Esbach. But uh, on getting to Nigeria, you know, uh, Lizarov hadn't taken off. But thanks to the likes of Dr. Izuagba and uh, Dr. Adeban Joe and the rest of the team that are sparking up the interest. Uh, the only uh, concern that I have right now is that uh, the hardware is uh, not very common here in Nigeria. Getting it is not very common. So in Bangladesh and India, where I know that uh, Lizarov has uh, been uh, around for some time, and I know that your hardware are not as expensive as you have in the West, maybe there we need to have more collaborations in bringing this thing around and even invite you guys around to come and you know, participate in our seminars. That will really be rich. I look forward to such a time. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, uh, we got your uh, question, sir. Uh, okay. um, uh, should I repeat the, his question, sir? No question. Sorry, uh, you yeah. have a question that, yeah, you have a question that uh, he cannot get good quality of implant in Nigeria, but the Bangladesh and India are getting uh, the implant even they have the own uh, manufacturing ability to have the implant. How can they get implant in uh, Nigeria? And uh, how about the collaboration between Bangladesh, India uh, regarding the implant? Just uh, his or just uh, general statements. Sir. <clears throat> so um, now I, I in chat box, there is a an question uh, from, um, I do not get the ID, uh, just PC is just uh, mentioned here. Um, uh, Maybe he locked on from his uh, desktop. Sir, a question to you. Many of the surgeon in home and abroad doing different modification like hybrid. What is your opinion regarding this, sir? See. Uh, Baris, Baris, uh, yes, sir. Uh, yes, I'm telling you. Uh, the message you should know. The man who is trained up with hybrid, he will follow the hybrid. If you want to marry, you are from Nigeria, you want to marry a Bangladeshi girl, that will be a hybrid. It will be good or bad, you think yourself. If you are Indian, you want to marry a British girl, hybrid makes problem at the old age. Hybrid, what is hybrid? The product of a cross between genetically unlike individuals. This is called hybrid. Yes, sometimes you can you cannot avoid the hybrid all the time. But once you are doing Elizarov, you must follow the principle of Elizarov. Everywhere you're putting all chance and you are telling that you are doing Elizarov, I cannot agree with this. I cannot agree with this. Transoceous, the name of the system is transoceous osteosynthesis. Hybrid you can put in the upper femur, that doesn't help. That does not create any problem. A little bit, you can put the chance. Why it is not possible? But why is the TBI the possible? Why you are putting hybrid? 
this is this is this is my asking i have trained up from kurgan i told you the origin of deformity correction started from kurgan but book of the drawer pale principles of deformity correction it was written in 1992 a revisor of did all this everything in 1951 and later on now think yourself this book is good drawer pale is good and latest book are coming is also good but principles of if you do elizaro you must follow the principles of elizaro and philosophy of the elizaro hybrid those are doing hybrid let them do hybrid but i don't follow the hybrid principle this is my opinion you can do whatever you like fundamental principle of elizaro methodology is load and motion rigidity and elasticity this is not the same the elizaro wires or k wires all is flexible a chance this is not flexible you are making a big holes that is the difference are 1.5 1.8 and 2 mm k wires when you are drilling this is the principle you are increasing circulation now think yourself decide you decide yourself which one is good you understand me am i clear to you yes sir uh, we are clear sir and um, uh, thank you everyone for uh, having a nice interaction and for those who are very much interested in elizarab uh, manufacturing the elizarab uh, apparatus uh, in their country and uh, you know that at the last part of our presentation maybe the last day there is the quality of the implant that are manufacturing in bangladesh uh, we can have a discussion on this and we can share our knowledge Uh, you know that at my first presentation i just focus on some ideas that how the implant are made are uh, manufactured in bangladesh so uh, at the if you uh, get connected on the last session of that session we can have good discussion about how to improve and generalize the good quality implant even how can we get the russian implant and other things uh, we can have discussion on that session so please stay connected and um, uh, if you have any question Uh, then um, we will go for the question um, i still uh, uh, getting the dr anon hands is up i think uh, if he have uh, any question he can ask or richard then... richard uh, arif richard yes, is willing to ask something richard sir mr, just... mr. richard okay sir i am just searching sir and uh, i am very much interested to hear from indranil dotto uh, uh, so far i cannot get connected with him uh, Uh, Indranil Dotto, if you are in online or in, uh, if if you can talk with us, you can connect Hello. with us. Uh, Indranil Dotto. Mr. Meeting, yes, I am too bored for him. Please, while you go slow. Sorry, uh, I am searching for Richard, sir. Uh, Richard. Okay, sir, I got him. Uh, please, Richard, sir, um, please unmute your microphone and have your question. Richard, sir. Richard. Hello, sir. Uh, we can see you. And please unmute your microphone, Richard, sir. Uh, please unmute your microphone. Yes, okay. yes, Richard, sir. Richard, how many? Hello, sir. How are you, sir? Mm -hmm. uh, Richard, how sir. Sir. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Okay, you, do you have any questions, sir? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. We can hear. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, yes, sir. We can hear you. Yeah, I just want to. I I just want to commend the presenter. Uh, Sorry, sir. Uh, there may be some uh, problem. There no problem. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, there is a communication problem. Um, is it entirely some of the cases presented by by providers? We have such cases in my center. Yes, sir. And, uh, and can you hear me, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, we cannot hear you. So now uh, I am uh, coming to the end of the uh, session. Uh, so I am going sequentially. 
Uh, I just uh, found that on up our um, uh, Kurgan fellow, he done his fellowship just after us, one a master's course in Kurgan, Dr. Uh, Arun Sharkar, uh, he is with us. I'm will, will calling, uh, welcoming him. Uh, I will go from um, Arun Sharkar, then some of our uh, Kurgan fellows, uh, then um, uh, then um, I will uh, go to Dr. Samsun Uda, sir, uh, for some uh, for stopping the, the live transmission. And if you don't have any question, we will go through this sequence and end our session. And uh, there are some messages in the chat box. Okay. Uh, there is a question, sir. Uh, uh, so it is an elaborate question from Dr. Golam Mustafa. You can directly ask to the sir and uh, about dressing protocol. Now I'm going to Orun Sharka, then uh, Dr. Um, Golam Mustafa, BPPR, and Dr. Uh, Nazmun Hoda, uh, then, uh, go, uh, then to Bari, sir, and then uh, Samsuruda, sir, and then back to me. We'll end up our session. Uh, Dr. Orun, sir, please unmute your microphone. And uh, if we are connected, uh, Orun, sir. Can you hear me, sir? Oh. Welcome, you, sir. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, sir. I can hear you. I can, I, I can, yeah, hear, can you. you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. I can hear you, sir. Thank you very. And first of all, I like to give my thanks to Professor uh, M. M. Bari, sir, our respected uh, mentor. Actually, I miss the uh, previous uh, lectures. Actually, I was sick. Actually, I took. Uh, some nebulized salbutamol. Actually, I missed those lectures, but here I have seen Professor Barisar is a very nice, elaborative, a, a pictorial, video assisted, informative, gorgeous, and titanically illustrated presentation. Thank you very much, sir, for your nice, Thank you. Thank nice you. comments. Well, as well. Mm. And Thank you. for your Thank information, you. Arun, Arun, sir. Uh, you can get all the lecture from YouTube link of OrthoWorld yeah. and Elizabeth UMC, and you can enjoy as much as you can, uh, as much time. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, 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 I am that's uh, the Richard uh, Omioni sir also uh, hands up for uh, another time. Maybe he have some question. Uh, he has some question. Uh, uh, Richard sir, do you want to communicate? Please unmute your microphone. You can communicate. Richard sir. Okay, sorry. Uh, now I am uh, going to Golam Mustafa. Uh, please unmute your microphone and uh, you can uh, um, have your question. Okay, Golam Mustafa, sir. Research, sir, if you are in online, you can send your question to, uh, to the message box. So that as the connection is very poor condition, so you can send the question in message box, sir. Golam Mustafa, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. can yes, you? sir. Ah, yes, uh, please throw your question and also comment uh, and please uh, make it short so that we are uh, at, at least two hours from the <clears> beginning <throat> so we can uh, have a good end uh, very shortly. Okay, uh, thank you, Arif. Yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, my mentor, Professor M. Bari, sir, for your nice and uh, informative uh, presentation and uh, in an easy way. Uh, sir, my question, uh, please uh, say elaborately about your dressing protocol, sir. Dressing protocol. If you do the surgery anywhere in the femur or in the tibia, if you think that this is very big surgery with a little bit big incision with proper dressing, first day you have done, okay? You've done the surgery. Next day you must do it, the dressing. Next day you must do it. Which I personally use all the time with spirit, right Russians. I like the spirit. And I do the dressing all the time with spirit. Sometimes with hexisol, that is called chlorhexidine. But whenever you use betadine or hexisol, there is you know burning sensation. If you spirit, uh, very cool, and easily you can disinfect that, that area. And after every, if no problem, five to seven days, even 10 days, I don't touch the patient. We do, you don't need to do that, not all the time. And the spirit is good. If you don't have a spirit, you, you can use normal saline. But properly dressing, and this is your ring, for example. This is the wire, this is the wire, this is the wire, and encircle the whole dressing with rubber stopper. Lot of Elizabeth surgeons, they never use the rubber stopper. This is why I don't know. 
this rubber stopper gives two things very easily two things whenever your skin wire interface skin or wire interface you are passing the wire through the skin and there is a small incision you know sometimes incision or you know sometimes a small hole when you put your rubber it prevents it prevents you know your skin wire interface micro motion the micro motion number one number two whenever you are covering the rubber stopper it looks very nice you cannot open your this room window all the 24 hours open what will happen if 24 hours will open here corona virus will come all virus will come then what will happen to the that area so proper dressing is very important so that patient can work with this dressing very nicely somebody can tell oh fantastic dressing counseling and i have written a book that is called the how to live a life with elizar of frame how to live a life with elizar blade in bengali i have written for our patients they, uh, they i give the instruction read them please you read it i will take your examination before discharging and i ask the most of the patients we tell them our nurses and brothers tell them and at the same time i ask the questions to the patients so that they can do it and uh, most of the sometimes it happens most of the illiterate people those who are from coming from village we are facing problems it is everywhere not only in my country in nigeria in india everywhere third world country people you know so proper dressing proper physiotherapy is very important fundamental principle i tell you all the time put the wires you tell your patient to go for loading a uh, loading gives you the vascularity when your wires are there inside the bones this is coming micro motion fundamental principle micro motion it creates vascularity in the whole limb so proper dressing is very good try to respect the whole ring area cover with gauze gauze whole ring every ring you should cover wires every ring so that nothing is visible those who have gone to kurgan you have seen so nicely beautifully it looks are our black you know uh, black skin open with wires it ugly looks ugly so that's why you must cover it so that it looks nice uh, am i correct yes sir uh, th th thank you sir and uh, uh, sir there is a session and uh, there is a session later on on the pin tract care i think we can elaborately discuss on this because yes 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 thank you it's a very uh, good um chapter for us sir there is a question for you in the uh, in the chat box uh, that uh, from um, Ad uh, richard sir uh, um, i would like to know how closely you work with physiotherapist especially for the rehabilitation of the patient sir it is question from the um, richard sir yes uh, you know i have a rehabilitation center i have two physiotherapists i check myself i go to the physiotherapy room every day and whenever patient coming with the apparatus in the tibia and in the femur i send them to the physiotherapy room to go for exercises and i have in my room also one machine if in the tibia i tell them please do your exercises patient is doing exercises am i looking how much 100 times he is moving and by this time i am looking another patient and it it, it helps because in presence of me when i instruct the patient patient gets satisfaction in presence of doctor i am doing this you must control this one in elizaro patient physiotherapy is mandatory is mandatory if you don't do it outcome would be not good motion motion uh, thank Our you sir main target motion okay thank you yeah there is another question from uh, one of our kurgan fellow i think this question is very much relevant uh, for uh, uh, now uh, today's con uh, contest uh, in this corona situation we know that the virus lives on the metal for 3 days uh, at least so how to take care of things sir oh dangerous <laughs> don't do anything <laughs> right <laughs> try to leave then you can do a lot of elizar of surgery <laughs> i don't do now i am afraid of i want to leave I, but i don't know what allah will help i don't know so uh, don't sir. do avoid if it is not emergency only do the uh, reduction 
and nothing. Even if you don't do, take rest two months, three months, no problem. Then you do. Samsulutha is making a lot of money. He's doing that is another thing. No, sir, only emergency case, sir. Only emergency. For uh, for thank you, Doctor G uh, M Munir, for uh, making some uh, funny question and also have uh, some. Uh, uh, refreshment in that part of I the, see I uh, see Hamidul Hamidul where is the Hamidul he has left uh, uh, sir uh, Hamidul okay I cannot find him so now I'm going to uh, Dr. Nazmul Huda Shetu then uh, going to Amir Hassan sir for for concluding comments and uh, Nazmul Huda Shetu uh, please yes. uh, have some comments in short and we are already two hours uh, um, uh, Nazuluda is just like a he uh, you don't mind he, he just from here he looks like a Saddam Hussein <laughs> <laughs> thank you sir okay no, sir uh, I, uh, thank uh, you Harif uh, uh, actually uh, I uh, again thank you to our uh, great sir Bari sir and his lecture will be the great asset uh, for our future generation and we should keep it in our YouTube and you always follow this uh, uh, lecture. And within this short time, uh, short time, uh, the vast chapter will be concise very nicely. And most important things uh, you, uh, everyone can get from this uh, lecture. So uh, everyone should uh, follow this and we should keep this uh, YouTube very uh, carefully. Thank you, Arif. Uh, thank you, sir. And uh, the, uh, for your uh, information, again, you can go to YouTube, OrthoWorld, and Elizabeth Clinic KUMC for the previous lecture. And uh, for uh, uh, now, I'm going to Amirushan, sir. Please have some sh short comments, and we'll go to Samsuludha, sir. Amirushan, sir, please unmute your microphone. Amirushan, sir, please unmute yeah. your microphone. Yes, yes sir. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Uh. Thank you, uh, Dr. Arif, and uh, also thanks a lot uh, to Bari Bhai and all other part participants who are uh, enjoying uh, this uh, enthusiastic um, lecture and discussion of Eli Jarov, uh, which is um, growing um, uh, a lot in our country. And um, many of the um, uh, very um, uh, difficult deformities are correcting uh, um, by uh, Barisar and uh, also um, many of our um, Elizabeth of Sarzon. Uh, I am must uh, that uh, we are uh, going, uh, by way of our um, uh, uh, lecture and discussion uh, uh, weekly and also uh, um, learning for a new generation of Elizabeth of Sarzon. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thanks a lot of, of all participants uh, of Elizabeth uh, from uh, Bangladesh and abroad. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, our initial motto um, about this session is that to just uh, uh, to just encourage the new uh, comers uh, of the Elizabeth surgery and the beginners so that we can uh, always um, share our knowledge and also um, uh, the experienced one, we can refresh our knowledge and we can share our experience from the uh, surgeon of home and abroad. Uh, so there is uh, another uh, 12 lecture left. Uh, everyone I request to connect it. And there is one announcement that Samsuluta sir uh, just uh, po uh, posted his, the link, all the link of the YouTube channel. You can go through the link in the chat box so <coughs> that uh, you can really go directly to the YouTube channel. And uh, now I'm going to Samsuludha sir. Uh, Samsuludha sir, please unmute your microphone. Uh, Samsuludha sir, uh, can you hear me, sir? Samsuludha sir. Uh, Samsuludha sir, can you hear me? Where is Kamlu Jawan Manik? Uh, Samsuludha sir, can you hear me? He's here. Uh, sir, here. By, I think there is a connection problem. I already sent the post status to Samsuludha sir, so that he can end up the uh, uh, live uh, on YouTube. And I think he is doing that Hello. job. Uh, before, uh, mm -hmm. Samsuludha sir, can you, uh, can you hear me, Samsuludha sir? Hello. Uh, oh, sorry, Samsuludha sir, just uh, make a WhatsApp call to me. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Sorry, I'm going to give you Oh, sir, I, I, I already I already sent the host status to your previous ID. Okay. 
ओके सर ये ओ सॉरी सर ये नाजमुल होता शेतु प्लीज अनमिट ये ये सर आई एम डूइंग दैट सर दैट इज कोहोस्ट फ्रॉम आवर पार्ट ओके बट सर बट आई ऑलरेडी सेंड द होस्ट स्टेटस टू योर प्रीवाइज प्रीवियस मेल हेलो ओके ओके प्लीज सेंड इट अगेन यस सर हेलो सॉरी सर फॉर सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम सामसुंद सर इज जस्ट ऑफलाइन Uh, so that uh, he cannot uh, communicate with us and uh, 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 nazmul huda nazmul huda can you hear me no nazmul, nazmul huda sir yes sir yes. please uh, please check the participant list uh, samsul huda sir send a request there uh, please admit this yes i have already admitted him oh okay uh, i think uh, we'll get back to samsul huda sir very because uh, i sent the host status to him but his id is just hang and uh, because uh, it is very uh, necessary for youtube and other live transmission to stop okay uh, samsul sir is connected uh, have you got that samsul sir is connected that is a stuck he is just like this stuck hey harun rashid is willing to tell something hey. uh, then, harun uh, harun uh, uh, please uh, nazmul huda shetu sir please uh, unmute the harun rashid sir okay uh, please admit is samsul huda sir okay i am the host again uh, uh, so uh, samsul huda sir are you here samsul huda sir Mm, are you here uh, i can get the samsul the id again more samsul the sir can you hear me so just uh, i apologize for this technical error and just wait for few minutes we will stop our uh, um, our webinar session and before uh, going to that i am going to harun akm harun if you have any question please ask or uh, uh, are communicate with host okay okay sir uh, you are back i'm back okay sir uh, sorry sir uh, okay i make you host sir okay yeah. already i sent the uh, approval just wait just wait so i am st uh, stopping the live session okay okay sir and uh, also have some comments about the overall session and we'll yeah. uh, go to the yeah. okay okay thank you everybody thank you especially barish sir for a wonderful wonderful session again as we all learned we have had a very good learning we like to learn from you again and again and again on you on this youth webinars and physically i wish to come to you thank you dr arif for wonderful webinar sessions uh, so now after this i'm ending the live youtube session thank you thank you very much and um, you everybody know that samsuluda sir is always a very good friend to us and uh, he just mediate all the things to live telecast of this event uh, to um, ortho tv live and ortho world and we are uh, very much grateful to him and also to the authorities of the ortho tv uh, that they are um, uh, telecasting our uh, the events and um,